This is FX Insights with CIS Trading. I'm JC. In focus, the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. What we're going to look at here is how we're sort of establishing an initial position for an intermediate to longer term trade on this Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. And I'm going to go over a couple of um, key pro trading principles. We're going to look at the OS QMA, the qualitative mean analysis. We're going to look at the CISGG Pro Metrics algorithm for the Trading View Toolkit. And then we're going to look at some longer term conditions and go over a few opportunities in this trade. We're right back actually currently in this market, right back down at our entry. And I missed uh, the video opportunity when I initially made this trade. Um, we were long from the 104.17 area up to the 104.23 area, and now we're back down in that range to get back in this again at the 104.17 area. So since we're there, what I'm going to do is go over sort of the initial trade, where we're at from the 104.17 area, long Australian dollar, Kiwi dollar. On the ICE QMA that we're looking at here, the ICE qualitative mean analysis that I have set up, we had a three-bar configuration. I'm going to turn the QMA off. A three-bar configuration, not a price action pattern of any sort, but it was an up bar, down bar, up bar. So sort of like a diamond type of price action. But when we made the initial down move on the center candle, when I turn on the ICE QMA, the qualitative mean analysis, we had a succession of three higher lows with that center down bar had a higher low as price moved down. And I saw that as an opportunity to get in this trade, and we moved up into the mid 104 uh, 20s. Now, this is a one minute chart, and this isn't the reason for the trade. So, what I'm going to do is flip over to our one hour chart and start going over what I see potentially for this Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar longer term. First, over the last few hours, we've had a couple of awesome setups on this trade. One, we have an arrowhead price action pattern on a down move on this hourly. You can see outside bar, inside bar, inside bar. That arrowhead pattern shows a bullish breakout above the 104.9 all the way up to above the 104.16 area. So that's one opportunity on this hourly. Then right after that, it set up a diamond pattern, outside bar, inside bar, outside bar. So I'm going to turn off the ice QMA very quickly. And you can see the arrowhead, outside bar. Inside bar, inside bar, and then inside bar, outside bar, inside bar diamond with a breakout above the 104.9 area. And so you can see when it broke out above that 104.9 area, it carried all the way through to the arrowhead breakout. And when it got to this market making area on this bullish low pin, right at that 104.17 area, that's where I started looking at a, a potential trade entry, and we're trading right back down to that level now. So on this hour, we got it to 104.17, and you can see the move higher on, the, on this hourly. Now, I'm going to go to the daily chart. I'm going to turn on the ice QMA very quickly. All right. And you can see the succession of higher lows on all of this price action on this hourly chart. I'm going to turn off the ice QMA. I'm going to look at it on our CISGG Pro Metrics. You can see our succession of buy signals. We took this last breakout up to above this uh, initial target 104, um, 18 area, and still positioning in this trade longer term. So what I'm going to do is take a look at this daily very quickly. And on this daily chart, what we have today is a diamond price action type of setup. We had a inside bar, outside bar, and the current candle is an inside bar. So we're looking at a diamond type of price action setup, looking for a potential move higher on this trade. On this daily, we show an initial target up above the 105.07, all the way up to the 106.56 with a long view target at the 109. This is JC, Australian dollar, Kiwi.
looking at the OSQMA using some pro trading principles, the TradingView Toolkit, CIS, GG Prometrics algorithm. And I'm going to turn that on for the daily. And you can see what we look like. We're right down at our target on the previous day's pro metric level. And we're playing a bounce, looking for a move up above this 104.17 and to continue on. And we're in that trade at 104.17 and just kind of working through it just to see how it sets up. Hoping to get a, a position all the way up potentially to this 109 area. So I'm going to flip over to the weekly very quickly. And you can see this 109 up to this 110.30 in that range. That's where we see, you know, the first real significant selling pressure um, on a move higher. And with a couple of stops around the 105 and the 106.50 region. So from 104.17 all the way up to that 109. Uh, 47 area, so you're looking right there at about 500 pips potential on this Australian dollar Kiwi. And this is a weekly view. I'll zoom that in and you can kind of see what it looks like uh, there on the Pro Metrics. I'll turn off the Pro Metrics and you can see what we look like on our QMA for that weekly. So there's what we look like there, and we're Take a look at this hourly, and we're trading right there back around that initial 104.17 area, still in a higher low condition. See if we see anything on this one minute setting up reversal wise, a small little arrowhead pattern looks like. Let me turn off that QMA real quick. Yeah, a little arrowhead type of cross action. We've already had the breakout on that um, one minute chart. So go back to this daily. Scroll through here. I'm just looking at some cross section back a little bit before my market making area up here at this 106.56. So looking at this Australian dollar Kiwi, what we're looking at is a long position from around the 104.17 area, better if we can, working our way above 105.05 up to the 106.56. You can see those two levels there. One more time back on the weekly chart, looking at this weekly, all the way up to the 109.47. And I like this Australian dollar Kiwi trade. We have a long, you can see where we have the uh, FX Insights all the way back in March. On this trade, we have a long position all the way down from the 103.30 area all the way up to this 107. And again, we're looking to get back in this trade here around the 104.17 if we can and get all the way up uh, above this 106.56, hopefully to this 109.47 long term. I'm going to go back to my daily chart, take one more look at the price action set up on a potential diamond for the day on this daily Australian dollar Kiwi. Turn on our QMA real quick. You can see we're still showing some buying in there on that QMA. Qualitative mean analysis. And then look at our, our pro metrics. On this trade and so what we're looking for today is the potential to set up a nice pro metric reversal for the next trading day and that's what we're looking at right now Australian dollar Kiwi long from around the 10417 better if we have the opportunity to get in there better but that's where we are right now again this is JC with FX insights at CIS trading make sure to go to the website at cisevents.wordpress.com. A lot of new updates this week, a lot of new video posts, a whole new TradingView Toolkit overview, and the CIS tax plan on YouTube, user CIS Trading.